Look, the like to say now we've got Kilkenny senior hurler Adrian Mullen, who's teamed up with Allianz today to look ahead to the upcoming Allianz Hurling League Division One final this weekend. This year, during their, during their 32nd year sponsoring the competition, Allianz has been campaigning for children and young people to stop the drop. That's a hashtag stop the drop and remain involved in sport when transitioning from primary to secondary school. For more information, visit, visit allianz.ie forward slash stop the drop. Uh, Adrian, how are things with you? Are you well? Well, lads, how are you? We're not too bad. Uh, Michael has something prepared for you. We're not going to put you on the spot asking about the match this weekend and what would it mean and all that sort of stuff. Michael instead has a bit of crack lined up for you. Yeah, no, uh, this is Rob from uh, Jamie Carter and Thierry Henry, Adrian. It's basically winner It's winner stays on. So I'm going to pit two, two Kilkenny players against each other. You have to pick who your favourite of the two of them is. And then he'll go up against someone else and someone else. And you just pick whoever your favourite of the two is, OK? OK, sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, um... First up, Mick Fenley or Colin Fenley? <laughs> um, Mick Fenley or Colin Fenley? That's a tough one, though. Um, cousins, aren't they? Yeah. Well, we were cousins of mine, yeah. But, um, obviously, they're brothers. But <laughs> yeah. Both Which cousins have... of yours. Listen, you're, you're you're kind of you're kind of done no matter who you pick, but yeah, yeah. and you have to pick one, do you? Oh, jeez, you have to pick one. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see on the fence here, but. Uh, who would I pick? Uh, I'll go for. <laughs> I hope they don't take. I hope they don't take the heart now. But I'll go for Mick. I think. Okay, good. That's Mick Fenley. He's now up against Eddie Brennan. I'll stick with the cousin. I'll go for Mick. Okay, uh, Mick Fenley or Owen Cody. And what's this based off now? Just it's based on who do you think is a better player, or who do you, who do you prefer of the two as a player? Uh, I think Mick has achieved a bit more, so Cody still has to prove himself a small bit more. But, uh... <laughs> okay, <laughs> perfect. Mick, Fen- Mick Fenley or Tommy Walsh? Oh, oh, that's tough now. That is tough. Um, I look, obviously, they're both absolute legends of the game, and. Two absolute greats, and uh, I think they both have uh, they both a hurler of the year. Yeah, yeah, uh, and multiple all stars. But uh, I think I'll have to go with Tommy on this one. Okay, very good. <laughs> no, Tommy Adrian, when I, when I did this with him the other day on the Offaly players, he just started like writing love songs to every player. Every time you had to leave someone out, he just wrote, wrote a love song live yeah. on air. Don't go no, in the same trap. I hope now I don't want to burn a, a few bridges now, a few lines now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what I did, Adrian, was it was Brian Wheelan against Johnny Pilkin. And I'd say, oh, Johnny was brilliant and he was my manager, but Brian Wheelan, that was yeah, basically yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah. That's basically yeah. what happened. <laughs> um, so that was, we've Tommy Walsh now still. So Tommy Walsh or TJ Reid? TJ. <laughs> TJ, okay. TJ Reid. Or JJ Delaney, the best defender that ever played the game, I reckon. Uh, I think it's going to be TJ from here on in. <laughs> okay, perfect. I'll, I'll finish it with this one. TJ Reid or Henry Shefflin? Um, look, again, I, I'm going to stick with TJ, but uh, obviously the two guys that you mentioned there, JJ and Henry, uh, like if if you did have to pick them, uh, you know, there, there'd be no no debate about it, like either because they're all such uh, great and such legends and uh, have, g- have achieved so much uh, in the game like so you know if you picked any, any one of them you know you'd have to be you'd be happy you'd be happy man like but uh no i'll stick with tj just on just on tj um adrian like do you what does he like is he does he miss much does he miss much training is he taking much time out or is he just the sort of fella that he finished up with bally hale at the end of october and he's just like mad to go nearly as quick as possible like he obviously played his first bit of league this year he hadn't played league in a couple of years I'd imagine he sets a fair example around the place for everybody else to follow yeah he most certainly does um, you know like TJ is 36 years of age and uh, you know if you're just judging by how well he's performing um, how good of condition he's, he keeps himself in um, how athletic he is at the moment how just all the attributes to his game and like he seems to still be improving and still uh proving himself um just like the last day you know he got a man match against Limerick and he only played 50 minutes but you can just see how 
how sharp he was and how you know how good he he still is and you know he's in my eyes he's still improving he's still getting better like so uh, you know and that's obviously just down to his overall attitude and how he approaches everything you know he he ticks all the boxes um he looks at he's he's basically a professional at the end of the day you know how how well he looks after himself away from the pitch um how well he trains um you know he just he, it's just something for us younger lads and uh you know any lads coming onto the panel and any of the older lads on the panel like just to look at what tj does and how how well he does everything and how he approaches everything like it's definitely it's great having him there and he's a great example to to everyone like have you gone down the road of slagging him about his age yet? <laughs> oh we have yeah yeah geez we have um you know he's he's not getting any younger anyway but uh you know, see, uh, you can see a few grey hairs sticking out, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> but, uh, judge, yeah, as I said, judging by his performances, like mm. you know, I, I don't think age comes into the equation. Like, um, you know, just by um, how good he's performing at the moment, like so. Is um whether it's club or county, is, you know the way there's always a player that you like to, to puck ball with because they they puck that sympathetic ball into your hand. Is there anyone that you really like pucking around with? I really hate pucking around with because people always hated pucking with me. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I, I suppose there's a few lads on the team now. You know, you go out beforehand and uh, you might go to 10 minutes before training actually starts and, you know, you're pucking balls to each other. A few boys now might test your touch there and, uh, you know, be drilling balls at you and, you know, you might be warmed up at all, but... Uh, you know they're, they're really testing you and uh i won't name names now but uh i think uh within the within the camp and within kenny I, you know there's a few lads that you might uh try avoid <laughs> can i just ask you on that adrian um what would your mentality be before a game i remember one time it was actually before an under 21 final and awfully i think i must have missed nearly every ball in, in the warm-up um and you're just falling over balls and making mistakes or whatever like what's your mentality in a warm-up do you do you like everything being perfect and getting your touch perfect, or do you nearly prefer to miss the one and have to go back chasing after it? Or if you miss a few balls in the warm up, is it getting into your head? Or kind of what's your approach to that? Or do you just once you once the whistle blows and the game starts, it's a completely different setup? Yeah, look, I, to be honest, uh, myself, I wouldn't look too much into it. Like, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. Uh, you know, it's uh, you just try to be relaxed, be composed. Um, you no, know, a warm up is probably just for, I suppose, warming the muscles up, uh, getting the the eye in, getting the touch in, and uh, you know if you happen to miss miss a few balls in the warm up or, you know, miss a, sh- a shot on the goal, you know, I wouldn't be too, uh, I wouldn't get too hung up about it, like uh, because you know at the end of the day it's just it's when the the ball is thrown in that's when it really matters that you're you're on on point and on form, like so. Um, yeah, no, you're probably just building building towards that and uh, just taking it as it comes really like you know you're not getting too uh too bogged down on it really are you a sort of a relaxed person in the dressing room and in the half an hour leading up to the match or are you one of these lads getting psyched up or having the cracky um yeah look i i suppose you to a certain degree you know you'd be relaxed uh you'd be kind of having the crack with the lads you'd be you know joking sneering having the crack uh you know maybe listen to a bit of music uh, but then you know, it reaches a point where, you know, you kind of have to flick that switch and uh, probably, you know, get in the zone and, uh, you, know, you know, like you're going out to, to, you know, if you're not in the zone and if your attitude isn't right and the head isn't right going into these games, like you're going to get blown out. But like, so you're just trying to get your yourself into a zone where, you know, you feel, you feel that you're at it and you feel composed and you just feel mentally tuned in. And uh, yeah, no, I suppose that's probably in the, the 10 minutes or so before you go onto the pitch. Do you have a trigger or a, or a, like even a song or anything that you listen to that would be a go-to to like, okay, I'm in the zone now, that part of the, the day is over and now we're into the area of getting ready for what's awaiting us or anything like that or a process that you go through or anything like that? Um, no, look, I wouldn't be too particular, too superstitious about stuff now, to be honest. Uh, but uh, no, you just know yourself and you can judge by the people you know, the rest of the lads in the dressing room, you know, once you see, once you see one lad is, uh, 
you know getting getting folks and getting ready and uh you know you're you're doing your your last few bits of uh your preparation and uh you know then that's that's when to kind of tune in and uh you know start focusing and uh you know for, leave the messing and the joking and all that to one side and uh you know just concentrate on the task at hand mm. and, and another thing i was going to ask you is about um how old are you now Adrian? about 23 24 uh, 24 now 24 six uh, is this your sixth inter-county season did you start in 2019 uh yeah i've been there since 2019 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so like you're probably i don't know mid-range in terms of experience level in kilkenny at this stage <laughs> um yeah look i suppose yeah 2019 and 2024 now like so that's five five six years i've been around uh the the kenny setup like so look you i've been involved in a few um all irelands and a few different occasions like so um yeah no you you gain a bit of experience from them and you learn from those experiences and uh you know you just try to to take from from all really all the good experiences the bad experiences and learn learn what worked worked out and what didn't work out and uh yeah just um try a bit bring that bit of experience um to the team and uh you know hopefully hopefully i uh, try do that bit better and uh hopefully the younger lads coming in can can feed off you as well mm, there's a question here uh, when brian cody retired did the kilkenny uh, panel make a presentation to him or anything did he talk to you about it or how did it go down um no, look, uh, there, there was a, uh, it was um, fairly. I think it, I actually can't remember how it went down. I think it was just um, maybe a WhatsApp message out to the group, and uh, just Brian letting us know that he's he's stepping away for for the year ahead, and uh, I think that was it. Um, he, Brian himself, probably didn't make a fuss about it or a song and a dance about it, like. But uh, yeah, no, I think it was just a, a WhatsApp message out to the group, and. Uh, yeah, just um, saying that he's stepping away and thanking us and stuff like that. Was that yeah. weird even for you, Adrian, and lads of your age? Like, am I right in saying, yeah, so you never would, there never would have been any Kilkenny manager during your lifetime, only Brian Cody, I think. Is that am I right in saying that? I think I am. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he was born in 99, and I think he took over that year. Like, so, um, yeah, he was the, the only manager um, when I was growing up until obviously Derek took over in the last couple of years. Like, so. Would there have been anything in particular that, like or a lesson that he would have taught you maybe during even your early years or anything like that or did he did he lay it out plain and simple what it was what was required would say to get to to play for intercounty for Kilkenny um yeah look Brian um he probably I suppose he had um his standards and um you know which obviously revolved around work rate uh, attitude um just will your overall willingness to probably you know, die for the jersey, die, die for every ball. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's what it does require um, because um, any day you go out and, you know, you're not 100% mentally tuned in or your att- your attitude is that small bit off, like you, you do get blown out of it. Like, so um, I suppose that's probably what I've learned from him the most, that you just, every day you go out, uh, you have to be 100% at it and 100% tuned in and the attitude just ha- always has to be there. Yeah, you've been great with your time, Adrian. Just a final question before you go. Now, we, we asked you all about the Kilkenny players earlier. Who's your favourite non-Kilkenny player in Hurling at the moment? At the moment? Yeah. Uh, that's a tough question. There's so many good players at the moment. Um, you know, obviously, you have your your Glans and your Keen Lynches and then... Um, you only have one now, Adrian. Yeah, I'm going to go for an up and coming man there, uh, a fellow t- awfully man. <laughs> you're never, you're never going to come up. You're never going to come up against him. You see, he's not going to be marking your at neither. So it's kind of a handy one too. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go for Adam Screeny there. Yeah, just uh, oh. what he, just the way he plays, and uh, you know he has a bit of flair about him. Like so, um, yeah, I'll go with him. Okay, well, look, Aidan, really appreciate you joining us, and uh, hopefully we'll chat again not too distant in the future. Cheers, lads. Thanks a million.